Where do you get raw milk, raw cheese, raw stuff like that? I looked at the store. Whole milk, is that the same as raw milk? I'm completely confused. Somebody please clarify this. Because <sighs> I'd like to get some raw cheese. I mean, that's what I'm looking for is raw cheese. We could go to the store, it's all flavored, it's all different, it's got wood pulp in it, it's all this, it's all that, pasteurize this, pasteurize that. I understand, shelf life, the change, but I just want some raw stuff. Raw cheese. I don't need all the chemically modified stuff, just make some cheese and share it, <laughs> and sell it. Uh, I don't want to go to a fancy... You know, I don't want to pay $10 a, an ounce for raw cheese. Do you go to the farmer's market? Is that where it will be? I mean, I, I'm i sure you can get raw milk there. Stuff like that. What about avocados? Do you guys have avocados in your, your meals? It seems like, you know, it's a source of magnesium. And when I was eating avocados, you know, I was still losing weight when I was eating avocados. And some people are like this and that and the other and it's a plant and ooh, doo, 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 doo. and I think it's just what you enjoy as long as it's a whole food. Like, you know, on the spectrum, I guess, complete elimination of all plant and just go with meat and salt, beef and salt, not even all meat, just beef and salt is how some people view it. But is there anything wrong with just eating whole foods? I mean, staying away from the sugar. I, I think the sugar is like the killer. What would happen if like even 20%, even 20% of the population decided that they didn't want sugar anymore and they eliminated all of the sugar stuff? I mean, would there be a change in the market? Would there be a change in the attitude of people? Would there... Do you think a lot of the stuff that's going on now is because of all the chemicals that are in people? That they just don't have... You know, that they're all wound up and they're just out to fight every time they turn around because of all the chemicals? I don't know. It's kind of something to think about, but... I don't know, it's just speculation. Anyway, got on the scales, kind of flat today. Been losing uh, the last few days, kind of flat today. Uh, nothing really happened. Um, I did stop the um, the cheese thing. My side's feeling better. I did go down on the butter too because I think I was eating a little too much butter because things were kind of moving through real quick. So I, I stopped on the um, as much butter. And how much butter is too much butter? Somebody was saying like three ounces a day. And so that made me think of like a, you know, soda can because they're 12 ounces. So the size of a soda can and a third of a soda can. But then you go from, is it <laughs> three ounces like liquid, three ounces solid, three ounces by weight, three ounces by, you know, it's never clarified. So, but I went down on the, went down on the butter a little bit just to not go wild. And it's just a, you know, it's a journey. It's a learning process. But seriously, I want to I want to know where you get raw cheese, because if I can get raw cheese, uh, I think I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go to actually today. Yeah, today I'm going to the farmers market. So maybe I can find some there. But if you know, let me know. Give me a comment. Um, just a guy with the mic and a camera going on a journey. So. I hope you give me some feedback. Hope you let me know what I'm doing. If if you do the same thing, if uh, just what's going on, because I have lots of questions. <laughs> I want avocados and I want cheese. I want both of them. <laughs>